in Tinder for about a week now and boy oh boy oh boy let me tell you I already have a fucking story I already have a story and I didn't even meet the guy yet I told him my main rule my main rule is always that one I don't do one night stands and guess what I find when I open up my snapchat hmm do you want to know I bet you can guess already this man has blocked me on Snapchat. And this is after him replying to me explaining to him that I will not have him over that night. This man blocks me? <laughs> what do I do? I take my ass back to Tinder and I see that he has unmatched me, which I had no idea you could do. <laughs> so then I take my merry little ass on to Facebook. Yeah. We're gonna hit all the social media platforms. Time to get creepy. Oh, yeah. Stop it. Get some help. That's my fault. That's my fault. Because I'm a 33 year old woman talking to a 23 year old man, which I know might seem very weird to some people. I'm really. I'm. I'm done. I'm done. Do better. Please do better. Please. No. No, I don't think I will. <sighs> this is world come to. So I choose not to be in a relationship. I don't trust no one. What are those? What are the? gentlemen and the 10 ladies watching this welcome back to the channel right before your eyes you can see gentlemen the happiest demographic on this planet single woman over 30 child free woman free of all the responsibilities these women guys they're just the happiest demographic so let's find out how the happiest demographic feels today in Tinder for about a week now and boy oh boy oh boy let me tell you I already have a fucking story I already have a story and I didn't even meet the guy yet since it's late and I can't sleep and I look a mess right now that's why I'm using a filter I'm not wearing a wig mind your business anyways guys who asked right did some some of you ask I'm very hormonal and I feel like I need to let this out I've already did a story time earlier on this but it, it you know it took too long so I'm just gonna make this fast and quick I really wish I can say this guy's name but I can't because the internet is very fast and smart and with his name it's very unique and they will find him as quick as I did because he's not very smart blah 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 we meet on tinder I give him my information it includes my snapchat and my phone number he does not text me instead he snapchats me and to tell me that he fell asleep sleeping he could not text me okay my dumb ass just went along with it and was like okay just keep talking because you're so cute he then made plans to make later on in the night he then asked me for pictures of me which is stupid because there's at least 15 of them on tinder and if you search me you will find all my social media internet's not that tough buddy you're 23 i'm pretty sure your parents invented the fucking internet I send him pictures, send him videos, all that information, yada yada yada. No, it wasn't naughty. Get your head out of the gutter. Then I told him, told him my main rule. My main rule is always that one, I don't do one night stands. I don't do first night hookups. And I also don't invite people that I've never met before, especially online, over to my house the first time I meet them. Explain this to this little man. And then I decided to put my phone down and take a very well needed nap. Two hours go by, I haven't checked my phone, decided to get in the shower. And then once I got out of the shower, I was like, hmm, let me hit this guy back up and see what the plans are for the night. Do you want to guess what I find when I open up my Snapchat? Hmm? Do you want to know? I bet you can guess already. This man has blocked me on Snapchat. And this is after him replying to me explaining to him that I will not have him over that night. He said, it's okay. I did not leave a reply. Went to go take a nap. Two hours passed by and this man blocks me? Guys, I don't see the problem, right? You have this woman who clearly states that she doesn't want a one night stand. And when this man finds out, he says, well, all right then, this is all I ever wanted with you in the first place, so if you don't want it, I'm out. So what is the problem? You both want and are chasing after, supposedly, 
something different than what the other has to offer. Where is the problem? The problem is, guys, that even though she says she's looking for something serious uh, and she's not, you know, looking for one night stands and random hookups, uh, well, she but maybe that's even true. But the thing is, she cares more about the attention and validation that she's missing out and she cares more about chasing Chad than about that made-up rule about the no hookups on the first date, right? I mean, you have to look at what women do and look at their actions and not at what they tell you, right? Because this woman, uh, she can tell me all the times she wants that she is looking for something serious, uh, that, you know, she now she knows what she wants, now she has learned that she is a woman of God. She can tell a lot of things, but her behavior shows that at 30 plus years of age, she's still chasing Chad, right? <laughs> she's still chasing the unavailable men, uh, the men who are clearly out of her league, like this man is, right? He is attractive, she likes him. She's on Tinder, and notice, guys, how she doesn't go for the guys who have a nice personality and who like, I don't know, uh, who have the same interests as her and who like reading books or whatever not. Notice how casually, you know, she goes for the one guy who is clearly really attractive. And he's like 10 years younger, so huge red flag right there. The reason why women often go for men who are way younger uh, is because men who have wisened up, right, and, uh, and uh, at a later point in, in, in life where they already know the red flags, men at 30 don't even look her way, right? Men at 30 don't even cross <laughs> uh, the, their stare with this woman. So she has to go for the younger ones who are naive or are too thirsty to, you know, wind up with her. So we have to really, uh, you know, doubt if she really has no one night stands. And even if she does, right, even if, if that is the case, uh, you can bet your hours that she's been doing that. She's been doing one night stands for 10 years of her life and she's decided the last two months that she doesn't want to. And she still makes the excuse for Chad, right, the exception. But guys, b before we continue with the detective skills, let's find out what else, what else she has to say. What do I do? I take my ass back to Tinder and I see that he has unmatched me, which I had no idea you could do. I don't know his last name, I only know his first name. So how am I going to search this man? I think, okay, well, he must be dumb. I hope he's that dumb. And he really was. This man said his last name as his Snapchat username. Just his last name. There's no exclamation points and diddly dallies and underscores and no, it's just his actual last name last name. Very weird last name. That's why I'm not going to say it because internet people are... So then I take my merry little ass onto Facebook. Yes, we're going to hit all the social media platforms. I type in his... Why is it, gentlemen, if someone can answer me this, women have been jumping all around left and right, you know, saying when a woman says no, it's no. No means no. Guys, stop cat calling me, stop pursuing me, stop being annoying. You know, when a woman says no, it's over. Be a man. But yet, when a guy says no, we have to chase him on all social media and expose him in front of the whole internet. Because we just can't take no as an answer. Like, that's a double standard if I've ever seen one. This man is clearly not interested in you. Why are you chasing him? Why are you exposing him in front of the whole internet? Why are you pissed about it? Why don't you man up and not make a fuss about it, right? Not throw a little tantrum. These women, guys, they are so entitled. They are so narcissistic that they cannot take no as an answer because they have 100 simps, you know, chasing after their tail and that somehow in their brains make them, makes them entitled to have all the guys. Like, right, if I, if I have the sims, I must have the chads as well. Absolutely no logic, but that's what they think, right? And when a man actually tells them, hey, look, I'm not interested. Like, I only wanted to have this one night stand and I, and I don't even care to remember your name. Then we have a problem. You, you know what a woman with self-respect will do? She will... You know, but first off, she wouldn't be on the dating apps, but let's say that a woman with self-respect somehow winds up on the dating apps. Uh, second off, she wouldn't be 30, right? A woman with self-respect who 
uh, you know, has not had one night stands and doesn't want to be part of hookup culture, she will be already married by 30 if she's been looking for a serious relationship, right? So that's out of the way as well. We can clearly see that this woman, uh, even though she tries to put herself in this light of, oh yeah, I don't, I don't want one night stands. I want something serious. Well, why are you single at 30? You know, probably because y you've been following that uh, for the last two days and you know and you've been hooking up with random men for the last 20 years but anyways guys let's go back to the example a woman with self-respect would look at this and say hey you know good thing that he left this man only wanted me for my body this man didn't want to have something serious with me and because i'm chasing after something serious i first off don't care second off i'm happy that he didn't waste my time right this is what a real woman who's looking for something real will think in this situation. But because this woman is not looking for something serious, but she's only looking for Chad's approval, Chad's validation and Chad's attention, this is why she is so pissed. This is why she cannot simply say, you know what, that was a bad experience, but at least I didn't waste my time. No, she's here almost in tears, throwing a tantrum, pulling her hair, uh, because she didn't get that juicy, delicious attention from a man who never cared about her. And I have to believe that this woman is looking for something serious. Get out of here, man. Full name. Want to take a real quick guess what I found? Just quick guess. You're probably going to be right. I found his profile picture is of him with his girlfriend. Looks like me with a blonde wig on. Oh! That's my fault. That's my fault. Because I'm a 33-year-old woman talking to a 23-year-old man, which I know might seem very weird to some people, but you know what? Shh, don't do the math. Don't do the math, and it'll be okay. So if you're a girl out there and you've just caught your boyfriend talking to some girl on Tinder who probably looks kind of like you when she has a blonde wig on, I'm sorry, you deserve better. Please take out the trash right now. It's starting to smell. Have a great night. Thank you for coming to my little mini podcast. So guys, the TikTok ends right here. And this guy was obviously a, a red flag. But if you didn't notice by all the signs, it turns out to be a red flag. Now, this is what you get when you're a 30 year old woman and you're on Snapchat and dating apps. This is the type of men that are lurking around there. They just want to have fun, right? And this guy, even though he had a girlfriend, I mean, he clearly doesn't care, right? He clearly doesn't care enough. But this is the type of men that a lot of women are after. And guys, to be clear, I'm not defending this man's actions. He's obviously scum and this is pretty scum behavior. If you want to have fun with women without, you know, committing, that's a new, you know, that's your decision. Uh, but, you know, don't be in a relationship. That is absolutely bad behavior. But the thing is, the reason why I'm not talking about the guy is because there will always be people like this, right? There will always exist players and manipulators and all those things. The, the thing you have to do is not deal with these people. And the same goes for men. There will always be that extremely toxic woman, you know, with multicolored hair, with a high body count, with a lot of piercings and tattoos uh, that has had a really bad life, dating life, and probably didn't have a father figure, right? It's on you if you date them. You are the stupid one, right? I mean, can we all agree on this? Because you can't say, ah, oh, she manipulated me if she had 40 red flags and you dismiss them all because you don't have self-value, right? So the same goes for this woman and the same goes for the woman who's dating that Chad. If you dismiss all the red flags because you want a piece of Chad's attention, we're not going to feel sympathy all the consequences that come because of your own actions right but now gentlemen let's continue to our last tiktok this is the second time i caught a guy on tinder with a girlfriend here here's the deal here's the deal for you men out there no guys what's the deal here <laughs> why does she have uh, first off, these really weird, you, you know, let's, let's just focus on this. Why does she have one eyelash extremely long right here and no eyelash right here? What is this? Is this some modern art interpretation or something? 
I'll leave that to you, gentlemen. Answer me in the comments. No. If you decide to cheat on your woman with me, I am going to tell her. I'm sorry. I'm a woman's woman. I am not. I'm not on your side because. You really think that I'm gonna give you the chance to be with me when I know that you're already a cheater? No, I'm not dumb. I'm not going to date a cheater because if you're gonna cheat on that beautiful woman with this, there is a definite chance you're gonna cheat on me with something way worse than what I, this is. And this is, this is bad. So, choose wisely whatever girl you have now she's probably so beautiful and maybe the sex is bad because you don't know how the motion of the ocean works anymore and it's your fault and all the women out there who are with men that you know they're in a relationship you're dating a man you know you're the side chick you're doing everything wrong honey you need to just Stop what you're doing and respect somebody's relationship. Even though the man is not respecting it, you still should respect the woman because you are a woman and she is a woman and we should be supporting each other in messes like this. The new rule is the next time somebody decides to start, try and talk to me, slide in my DMs, and I know they have a girlfriend, it's pretty obvious your profile picture is with your girl. I mean, are you dumb? Are you, how many brain cells do you have? Obviously like not too many because a nor, I'm getting too worked up over this. It's not even my man. It's not even my man. He is cheating on his woman by talking to me and I am mad. She should be mad. I wish I could just say his name and I can just exploit this person just so shit. But, you know, it's, it might come down to that. It might. I'm really, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. And if you cheat, do better. Please do better. Please. This is world come to. So I choose not to be in a relationship. I don't trust no one. So, of course. You know, you know, just as I was about to mention that I agree with her, in those last two seconds, she had to fit in this absolute bullcrap narrative that, huh, this is why I'm single. This is something that we often hear, guys, the this is why I'm single argument. Well, women will cherry pick that one situation out of a hundred and say, this is why I'm single, right? First of all, right, right, I agree with this woman, uh, cheaters should be exposed, I stand behind that, whether you're a man or a woman, uh, you know, you absolutely deserve to get called out on your bad behavior, uh, but, you know, even though, statistically speaking, cheating is, uh, you know, the numbers are higher than we would like, they're higher than normal, but the thing is, they're still not a majority, like, if you mean to tell me that most men are out there cheating on their girlfriend and n not even doing it you know trying to cover themselves or hiding no no they they straight up uh <laughs> talk to other women with the same profile where they have their girlfriend you know a picture of them with their girlfriend i'm not buying it this is a small subtract of men most men do not go around uh cheating with other women while having a girlfriend right if you mean to tell me that this is why you're single, because all men are like this, because uh, the men who do not do this are one in a hundred, I don't trust you, right? Every time, guys, I see, a, I see a woman in her 30s saying this is why I'm single and she cites the, the most bullcrap reason of them all, I just have an inner laugh with myself. But what do you think about this, guys? Leave me your thoughts down in the comments and I'll be happy to see you soon.